everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Welcome to my film and TV channel. We have a BBC drama today. We have a that's been showing over four separate weeks, uh, four different episodes. I'm going to have a look at today at something called Bloodlands. Please, if you're new to the channel, please push that subscribe button. That'd be fantastic. I'm trying to get to, well, I'm trying to get to 800 by the end of March 2021. I'm trying to get to uh, a thou that magical thousand if I can by the end of May. But it's going to be quite tight. But you always got to aim aim high, haven't you? So any help you can, if you've not subbed already, please do so. Or anyone you know might be interested. And if you find this informat this uh, vlog informing and entertaining, please uh, push that notification button so you know when these vlogs are coming out. And you'll also see on the playlist as well as film drama reviews, uh, information vlogs on films, what's out to buy, etc, etc. You'll also see some stuff on my football team as well, my football team Manchester City. So it's about a 50-50 split between film and TV and football. So if you or anyone you know might be interested in the My Citizen channel, where I look at City Pass, City Present, uh, City Quizzes, lots of different things on there. Uh, please uh, check that out or point someone in my direction if you can there. Uh, that'd be fantastic. And please, all comments are welcome. There's some links on screen now, but uh, all comments are very welcome on this Bloodlands or anything else to do with film and TV. And obviously all the various links. I've got Facebook and Twitter to there as well so if you'd have to follow us or friends please uh, seek me out on there and I do check her three or four days and follow and friend everyone back on there and that's, that'd be fantastic if you haven't got time for a comment today just just give us a thumbs up I mean it's nice it's nice to get views but it's nice to get thumbs up as well so if you can do that for me right yeah Bloodlands it's uh, classed as a 15 rating uh, as I said, it's shown over four episodes. You're talking about three hours forty-two minutes overall because it is BBC, so you don't you don't lose stuff for ad breaks, etc. Uh, classed as a crime drama thriller. Well, what's it about? It's uh, a Northern Irish police officer, DCI Tom Brannick, connects a suicide note with the infamous cold case with enormous personal significance. Uh, the cast includes, of course, in the lead role as D D Detective Chief Inspector Tom Brannick, we have Mr. James Nesbitt. Yes, there you. go. Go. Lorcan Cranich stars as DC Superintendent Jackie Toomey. Charlene McKenna stars as Detective Sergeant Neve McGovern. And Chris Wally as Billy Birdie Bird. So there you go. Plus a few others, obviously, in this. Uh, obviously, faces familiar uh, to sort of UK audiences. And I'm probably. Uh, outside of the UK these days. Yeah, um, critics-wise, uh, Internet Movie Database critics, only four guys have left a little note, but they all seem to like it. It got between 6.6 .6 out of 10 and 9 out of 10, so that's not too shabby, is it? Uh, the Guardian's Lucy Mangan, she wrote, A fine addition to the growing genre of Irish noir, which draws power from its concentration on place as well as plot, and it stands as an enjoyable, dense and astute thriller, with enough black humour threaded through it to let it breathe in its own right. There you go, so let Lucy likes it. Internet Movie Database, yeah, there's been 850 scores left and reviews left as I'm recording this, and it's getting a 6.6 .6 out of 10, so not bad. I mean, not fantastic, but certainly not bad. Uh, and I always have a quick look at the good, the bad, and the mm, yeah, on the internet movie database. So I'll try and pick one, pick one review from each of those. The good, we've got The Sleeping Dragon on the 5th of February 2021. So I probably only watched the first series, to be honest with you, but uh, it sort of coincides with the rest of the series, I think. Uh, wrote a very good series. Uh, there is, this is definitely going to be a good series. The quality is very much here, as you'd expect from such a writer. For me, it's not the quality of line of duty, but then what is? It's certainly better than many shows I've watched recently. You can see Jed Mercuro's hand in this. His work is easy to spot. It seems a shame that it's only four episodes long. James Nesbitt never disappoints. He always manages to produce the goods. A terrific piece of casting. There you go. So a lot, a lot of love out there for uh, Mr Nesbitt. Hmm. A bit more on what I think of Mr Nesbitt in a, in a moment. Uh, the bad. Yeah, obviously it's going to be good. There's going to be bad. Uh, Jez Atkinson on the 5th of March 2021. I was really looking forward to this, he said, um, as actually enjoying most things Nesbitt is in. I really wanted to like this and try, but it's just bad. It's grim and dark, but not in an edgy, thrilling way. It's just depressing. The story seems to have completely simplified a very complicated period in Irish history that's clearly insulting. The plot and storyline is full of gaping holes and implausibility. Nebit's character is hard to truly warm to, and there's no interesting chemistry between the characters. It takes its Itself incredibly seriously I just totally lost the will near the start of episode 2 and now won't watch any more I'm done what a shame 
There you go, and the mayor, and the in-between, yeah, the mayor, uh, Ross the Boss, on the 22nd of February 2021, he wrote, mediocre, enjoyed Pembrokeshire murders a lot more. Well, yeah, you've got to make comparisons to other things. And he just he just said, James Nesbitt just irritates. Uh, his sidekick was better, formulaic, nothing new, bored, line of duty is ten times better. Uh, yeah, internet movie database, the actual individual episodes, it's quite unusual this, I wouldn't I wouldn't score them like this, I, my, my score would be slightly different. Uh, episode 1, we've got a 7.4 out of 10, episode 2, 7.5, episode 3, 7.1, but we've got the final episode is 6.6, .6. and if, if, obviously I'm going to describe what I think now, but uh, yeah, it was the final episode, uh, to be honest with you, that sort of rescued it for me, um, and actually made it a lot, a lot of a better watch. Uh, yeah, so my little thoughts, yeah. I mean, it did feel, and it feels, I mean, I have to do, because I sort of did this little review one at a time, if you like. I watched each episode and added things to it, so bear with me as I, as I sort of reread what what uh, what I actually written, and obviously what I slightly adjusted as the thing went on. Uh, it felt a bit old and lacking in imagination until quite late in the series, as far as crime drama is concerned. Oh, OK, I'll, I'll admit this now, I'm not the biggest Nesbitt fan, I never have been, um, but I like to think that I start all these sort of dramas with a clean say, slate as far as story and the acts are concerned. Um, the acting Nesbitt aside is, is pretty much OK, it's just the story that for me lacked a little bit of oomph, certainly early doors, considering some real darkness in the plot, and as some people have mentioned there, the sort of history and the time we're talking about in Northern Ireland, obviously. Nesbitt, like the story, becomes a more interesting character for me, uh, certainly by episode four, as I say, I was a bit meh myself uh, with Nesbitt, uh, uh, certainly in the early, early episodes, and it didn't quite work. Uh, by episode three, uh, as I said, I was watching this out of habit more than the eagerness to watch it. Oh, I can't wait for this. I was just watching it because I'd started to watch it. And I want to finish it off. Um, by episode four, it all got a little bit more gripping in my, in my uh, mind in a sort of line of duty sort of way. But obviously not, not quite up to that standard, but certainly in that sort of feel to it. And thankfully that fourth episode possibly, as I said, rescued it overall for me. Uh, as, but some may not have seen this far, which you've obviously seen from a couple of the other other reviews there. Some, some people probably haven't got to episode four, which is a great shame uh, in all fairness. Uh, they're a big fans of the series. I've seen a lot of positivity, as you expect, both critics and, and the public. Uh, but for me, it's just a little too ordinary, as I said. But despite that good ending, it will... Uh it sort of won't live long in the memory and will soon be forgotten. Um, not really, as someone's mentioned, the characters there, didn't they? Yeah, I didn't really have an interest in, in any of the characters, to be honest with you. I mean, from the from the sort of people who get mixed up in it, uh, innocent people, to, to the to the sort of characters who were obviously dark and sinister anyway. Uh, there was no real investment for me in the characters, to be honest with you, including Nesbitt's characters, as I said, which uh, was, he was a bit of a quandary, really. You know, he was sort of, I, I didn't feel either way for him then by the end I thought oh yeah okay that's but it does it didn't quite go with his, his character what actually happened um another actor in the lead would it made a difference uh, possibly as I say I, as, but uh, people like Nesbitt I, I particularly don't I don't like him in these sort of things uh perhaps a couple of tweaks perhaps would have made it better and certainly no doubt they'd done this in I know it sounds I mean some guy said it's a shame there's only four episodes but I think if they'd done this in three episodes it would have been a far tighter better series to far more interesting certainly for me anyway so than the four so I think this would have really helped as well if you'd asked me by series three, my rating, I think I actually did write a rating down. I think I was coming up with a 5.5, .5, which is my rating to say, yeah, I didn't particularly enjoy it, but I certainly wouldn't put people off. But that episode four just about rescued it for me. So it ended up with a watchable rating, which is, you know, if you watch these vlogs, it's a six out of 10 from me, which uh, a little bit down on the internet movie database. I'm a little bit down on most people. But yeah, if you look at those scores, I mean, obviously episode one, I would have probably um, scored it myself 6.5 out of 10. Episode two may have gone down to a six, but by episode three, I'm probably down to about a five out of 10. And I say it was the episode four, which probably rate a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10, which probably boosted it back up. But I say my overall rating for this is going to be 6 out of 10. Anyway, let me know what you think if you get to watch this. This is actually out to own as well. Uh, obviously, it's on BBC iPlay. We can actually buy this from the 22nd of March at 12.99 on DVD. That's um, online or, or in store. So 
Uh, it's out to own from the 22nd of March. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, whatever you're going to do this day, have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Film and TV channel. Or perhaps have a flit across or look at my Citizen channel, wherever it is. All I ever ask is please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.